Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to fix that type of error. Actually when we click on the add to cart button, the detail will be uh, like that and uh, that type of error will be occurred like an unhandled exception occurred while processing the request. SQL exception, SQL exception you can say, cannot insert explicit value for identity column in table cards when identity insert is set to off. So you can see that in the inner side, uh, the mm, uh, exception that is Microsoft.data.sql client.sql connection dot on error, SQL exception, exception, boom break connection, action, uh, wrap clause in action. And DB update exception is also occurred and error occurred by saving the entity uh, changes. See the inner exception for details like that. Uh, this is the uh, actually related to your identity columns of the card. So first of all, check your, uh, you can say, uh, this is your connection in the web settings where your, you can see your database name that is online fast food. In the SQL Server Object Explorer, just go for the SQL Server Object Explorer and you can see that your database online fast food. So here we have online fast food, here is online fast food, online fast food. Okay, now check the uh, table schema first of all and which column is identity column of related to your cards. There is there we have a cards table and you can just open view in the designer. Wait for some times it will run uh, it will open in the designer window and your problem will be resolved after, after a few seconds just in a few seconds. So you can see there is an ID property where the identity initialized one by one is not null. So uh, if you are uh, adding some value in the ID column, then that means your uh, value will be generated that type of error message and that property will increment automatically. Okay, so uh, you can say that it's not an uh, it's an identity that is incremented by one uh, and one by one okay so if you uh, can see the uh, categories you can say that a view in the designer and you can see that id is the identity property that is not null so uh, here you can see that uh, that is the id property that is automatically incremented by one and here we can say that the card id is the automatically incremented by one so when uh, just open your home controller and you can see that the id property of your cards will be updated by one and you can see that uh, in the card just again we just started it again and you will see that your card of the id is uh, initialized so that type of uh, things will be happened with your code so just wait for some times and this there is an add to cart so here we have and check the cart uh, things first of all and you will see that id is the one so id is not one right here because uh, in the cart uh, in the cart table id is why why we use id as a one id is zero initialized right here Okay, so uh, so you can see that ID is right here one. So uh, cart from DB is null because ID is uh, not determined. So if it is ID is null, then uh, then you can insert the card detail. But ID right here is the one. So just go for your detail session. And here we have item ID right here, title description.
and account okay so everything is right model dot item ID right here what ID is not there so ID is initialized with the one application user ID is like that count is one ID is one item ID is one so first of all you can make some changes first of all stop debugging and uh, you can just add cart dot ID uh, cart dot ID is zero first of all and you can do uh, only just add card dot ID is a zero just after that you can uh, do all these operations because the card ID is initialized by one that is invalid so here you can see the output right here when we click on the details button and add to cart right here and you can see the cart ID is one so just make some updated so here you can see that the cart id is zero right here and you will see that your problem will be resolved easily your here your problem will be resolved so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core